Hey everyone, so I'm gonna make this as quick as possible because I know I have a tendency to ramble on a little bit and I think that what I'm about to say might be the most important thing I've ever said on here. And I want this to be shareable and I want you to be able to, you know, um, show this video to anyone that you think might need it. So I'm trying, I'm gonna try to be as succinct as possible for you. Um, I know there's a crazy election going on right now. It's totally up in the air. We have no idea what's gonna happen. I know we all know what should happen, but um, I'm gonna hold off on my thoughts on that and uh, change gears. And um, this video is sort of a, um, like a third part to the last two videos I've made about feminism. And I'm gonna put those up at the end if you want to check those out there one of them's a little long it's right after i got married and had a whole lot going on in my head and uh the other is a um a positive response to uh, a rouge v uh, blog post i had read that i thought was um spot on and so i wanted to kind of add my thoughts to it and um this is actually kind of tied into that that other video that rouge v response um so what is the worst thing that you can tell a woman it's it's just uh what four four little words you still have time ladies we don't have time we we do not have the same kind of luxury that men do when it comes to starting a family and if you've been following my channel for a while you know that i've been struggling to start one myself for a couple years now um i am uh on the wrong side of um uh the uh the prime childbearing age and uh i am right now um i can give you a a positive update before i launch into what isn't probably isn't a super positive video but i will be 38 weeks on thursday and it has been a long road to get here this is my third pregnancy. The first two ended in miscarriage and it was incredibly painful. And if I had only started trying to, to create life, if I only tried to start a family sooner, it would probably be less painful because I would have so much more time to keep trying. And that is why I, I feel like this this imperative this desperation to try to get through to women who are younger than me that we have to wake up we have to stop putting off things that come naturally to women and i i'm not speaking in absolutes so i don't you know i don't need a whole bunch of angry feminists in the comments telling me you know well i don't i don't ever want to have children and you don't speak for me i get it no i don't speak for all of you but I can tell you that I was one of those women. I was one of those women who told myself for decades that I didn't want children, and it was a lie. I was completely lying to myself. And every time I would tell that to someone, whether it was a man or a woman, I would get the same response. Oh, you still have time. You still have time. And now here I am, I'm, I'm 40 years old. I desperately want more children. I want more than one child and I have to reconcile with myself that that may never happen. I may never be able to have more than this one child, especially if I'm prone to miscarrying them. So I'm facing this, this, you know, ticking clock that's counting down on how much time I have left to be a mother. And even now, like, you know, my, my baby's due in in a couple weeks he's he's actually due on thanksgiving day which is so fitting because i am i am just so grateful to god to to have this child and i am praying that um the labor is going to go okay and that i'll be okay and that we'll both come out of this and that i'll be able to you know bring my son home but i'm gonna be 60 when he's 20. You know, I'm, I'm going to be 70 when he's 30. That's insane. And it's sad. And I should have started doing this sooner. And I just spent so much time lying to myself. And my friends and family spent so much time lying to me, 
telling me that I had all the time in the world to do this when I didn't. And so I just, I want to convey that to people. And I'm sorry if this is like quick and frenzied, but I'm just, I'm trying to say this as quickly as possible so that it can be shared. You know, if, if there's anyone that you know that, that has the same issues or that is thinking the same thing, uh, you know, um, the, the example I have in my personal life, I had my baby shower a couple weeks ago and there was a woman sitting next to me who was 40 and feeling that biological clock ticking and she desperately wants to have children. And we were talking about how, you know, she was telling me that I gave her hope that she still had time because I was able to do it at my age. And sitting across from us was um, my brother-in-law's girlfriend who's in her early 30s, who has said before she doesn't want children. And I was speaking to the 40 year old, but really I was directing my, my thoughts at, at the younger woman with us and just telling her how much, you know, how full of regret I am that it took me so long to get to this point. You know, like no one, no one can ever say they're totally ready to be a parent. And, and if you say that, you're probably kidding yourself, but you know, it, I am, I am finally now at the point where I'm as ready as I ever could be to devote all of my energy to unselfishly, uh, you know, focusing on another, another being, my, my child. And I was telling her and, and trying to tell the woman across from us that, you know, I just, I wish so badly that it hadn't taken me this long to get here. And I went on this big spiel about, you know, being selfish during my 20s and 30s and really regretting that and and wishing that I could have another child, you know, more than one, and that probably won't happen. Um, and, and after all of that, the young woman across from us, my brother-in-law showed up and sat down and she turns to him and says, I wanna get another puppy. And I just, um, it just broke my heart that women have done this to themselves, that young women have done this to each other, that we have allowed ourselves to be convinced by older women, by public education systems, by colleges, that it's okay to put off one of the most important things we're ever gonna do in our lives, probably the most important thing we'll ever do in our lives, and it's, it's okay to keep putting that off until some future date when everything's magically gonna work out. And so I, I just wanna say that it may not magically work out. So if, if there's any inkling of doubt in you that you think, you know, you're telling yourself, I don't want kids, you're telling yourself, I'd be a horrible mother, when deep down you know that it's not true, and you know that, you know, someday you are going to wanna have children, stop putting it off stop putting off getting your crap together and start thinking about, you know, the mother that you want to be and the kind of man that you want to have children with and find that man. Um, we just, we have to stop lying to ourselves that, you know, we have all this time because we don't and you don't. You, you don't have all the time in the world to do the one thing that every woman is made to do. And I understand that not every woman is going to be a good mother and not every woman should be a mother, but most of us should. And, you know, I just, uh, if, I can, if I can say one last thing before I, I try to cut this as short as possible is just, you know, stop telling women that they have all the time in the world. Uh, you know, ladies, we, we don't. And we need to wake up and throw off this overwhelming push that society has to delay having children. And we need to embrace being women again and embrace our natural inclination to, to be mothers and be caregivers and, you know, be ladies. So um, if, if you know anyone who could benefit from you know, hearing from someone who's been there and who's, you know, struggling and who is just, you know, praying to God that everything goes well with with the baby that I'm carrying and wishing that I had more time to have more, 
um, you know, please share this and I will get back to politics and all that stuff at, a, at another time. But I felt like, you know, this was important to say.